name's Leo Haight, Dr. Leo Haight. Uh, I've been practicing for 13 years. Started placing implants about 11 years ago. Started trying family dentistry about 12 years ago. Um, expanded to three different locations. Started Highland Implant Center a couple of years ago, and that's when we really grew into our full arch floor flow. My name is Mary Johnson. I'm an ER nurse, so I work with people, so I sort of hide my smile now because it's in the way. I'm having a full upper mouth implants done. I want to get the implants done with Yomi because I'm intrigued by medical devices and things and procedures just because of my background. And it was just so impressive the way it moved and the way it handled. So I feel comfortable and I'm excited about the procedure to have this done. For Mary's case, Dr. Haight and his team will place eight implants in the maxilla. The implant sizes range from 3.75 by 13 millimeters in the anterior to 6 by 10 millimeters in the posterior. This full arch case is planned within the Yomi Plan software, and the Yomi robot will use this treatment plan to guide the surgery. That was the first thing I noticed when we got Yomi, was that it walks you through everything that you need to do so you're not missing something. With Yomi, you have a checklist. So it tells you, drape your robot, put your hand pieces on, put the end effector tracker on. So it goes through all that and it tells you what you need to do so you're not missing anything. Before surgery begins, a link is established between the patient and Yomi using a two-stage fixation platform called Yomi Link, which tracks the patient's anatomy at all times. This in turn allows Yomi to adjust to any movement and provide accurate guidance to the provider throughout the surgery. All right, open up for me. The ways that Yomi really changed the game for us, they're numerous, but starting with one, patient confidence. Basically, I always explain it to patients like Yomi absolutely removes all of the human error from things. We can be incredibly accurate. We're not worried about, oh, I can't keep my hand at that specific angle. I can't hit it at this uh, certain millimeter. With the Yomi, it's not an issue whatsoever. It just basically took what we were already doing and elevated it to a level that makes patients more confident. Open up for you. Yomi Link Arch is a temporary fixation platform similar to an impression tray, which contains fiducial markers. It allows guided placement of bone fixation while the patient is fully sedated, enhancing patient comfort. I love the Yomi Link Arch because it is very conservative. We put it on, send the patient to the CT scanner, take the CT, put them to sleep, and then we do the Yomi Link bone. And I think it just increases the patient's comfort as well as being conservative with the fact that they're asleep. Also, they can see if they need to reduce bone or take tissue away, but for the most part, they usually don't because they can see exactly where they're going and they know that's where they're going. The old analog ways, uh, freehand, the stackable guides, those type of things, that's what we used before. Now with Yomi, it's, it's extremely streamlined. It's so much more exact, it's more predictable. The cases that were complex, that were eight and nines, are now threes and fours. So I'm not sweating throughout the day. It's just a nice, easy day when we start using these things. You know, we do these robotic workflows, we plan our own surgeries. Same knowledge, same everything we had before, we just make it that exact. It's in the software, once it's planned, it's set. We move it onto the server, and that gets moved on the robot, and then we're good. When you're actually placing the implants, that's the part that makes you faster, but I don't use the word faster, I use more efficient. Because you're not worried about the speed, you're worried about how accurate it is. Say when you're freehanding, you're worried about a couple different things. You know, you're worried about the, the saliva on your mirror, you're worried about the your, way your neck is turned, you're worried about the tilt of the drill, you're not worried about any of that with robots. You can take all of that out of the equation, you just push. So that's the, that's the speed and accuracy and I'd say the efficiency of it. After placing the Yomi Link arch and sedating the patient, the provider can start placing the Yomi Link bone. He starts with the initial pilot osteotomies for the fixation screws, guided by Yomi. Hit the Yomi bone link. Okay, now hit screw number four. 
great. Yomi link bone is then secured to the patient's maxilla. Each drill is guided by the Yomi plan software, ensuring the bone screw does not interfere with the surgical plan and is clear of any key patient anatomy. Yomi link arch allows the entire bone link mounting process to be carried out fully guided with the patient fully sedated. Three. Once the Yomi link bone is rigidly fixated to the patient, the patient tracker arm can accurately track all movements and guide the surgery according to plan. After placing the Yomi link bone, the provider extracts the remaining teeth. The robotic guidance, the haptic feedback, really gives us a sense of confidence. You know, we can get into some tight areas and feel confident that things are gonna go well and the implant ends up exactly where we want it and that we can have a lot of support for one tooth or multiple teeth. Especially full arch cases with Yomi guidance, our full arch time in surgery has drastically reduced. Uh, we can just roll right through Confident that things are, are on track, probably has cut down surgery times by at least a third. During the actual surgery itself, there's, and I always explain it to patients this way, it seems like there's more work on the front end, like when we're putting the Yomi link on, when we're getting our CT, getting our baseline, but the actual process of placing the implant is f flawless, and it's essentially snap done. A lot of the times they're like, oh, the implant's already in, which is great because a lot of people have a ton of dental anxiety, like I mentioned beforehand. So if you can create a comfortable environment, then you just totally set yourself apart from everyone else. The provider starts each osteotomy with an initial pilot drill. This is followed by the osteotomy, where the provider drills to the full depth plan for the implant. Yomi provides haptic guidance along with visual and auditory cues to keep the surgery on track. While in guided mode, Yomi physically prevents off-plan movement and stops the drill at the planned depth to ensure accuracy and safety. The guide arm actively assists the provider, guiding the handpiece to the trajectory of the treatment plan. With haptic physical feedback, audio, and visual cues, Yomi ensures precise implant placement and procedural efficiency. The provider manually engages the drill and moves in and out with a pumping motion. While Yomi guides his movement, he is still in complete control of the surgery. Three. Pause. Pause. All right, and then we need the one seven. By 23. Three. Go to six. God. Three. God. The water gun. Six. Okay. Reverse. Good. Good. 
free. God. I'm gonna do a 5-0 now. Okay. 527. Free. Okay. Suction. Cool. Okay. Alright, we're good now. I'm set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Free. As shown throughout this video, Dr. Haight has been able to perform eight osteotomies Sorry. quickly and efficiently. Yomi's haptic, visual, and Sorry. auditory guidance allowed him to predictably execute his plan. So what it did is that these cases that were difficult, that you really couldn't do, now you can. So patients before, that I would have to do lateral sinus lifts on. I'm looking to do pterygoids or zygomatic implants. I don't have to do them anymore because I can position my implant so far distally that I can lateralize sinuses with this thing and I can get them back to a first molar occlusion. And so now I don't have those distal extensions like you had before. Because we are able to be more conservative with our surgeries that we do with Yomi, Obviously, nobody likes pain after procedures, so that automatically cuts down on post-op pain after dental procedures immensely. Not only that, we've kind of got it down to a science at this point that not only are we more conservative, we know now specifically kind of a lot of the issues that we would see post-op with doing this the old school way doesn't happen with Yomi. And it's almost to a point now that patients are surprised how much they, how good they feel uh, the next day after having a surgery done because it's in contrast to other people they know that have had the same thing done with the, the old school method, it's night and day. After drilling the osteotomies, we enter the restoration phase. Yomi integrates with all types of digital workflows. Various techniques can be used to pick up the final implant position, allowing a custom restoration to be precisely fit. In this case, Dr. Haight is using photogrammetry but this is optional, and Yomi can work with or without it. Yomi has changed the game for us by eliminating human error, making things so much more simple for assistants, doctors, um, the patients. The accuracy is tremendous. I actually can tell that the smiles are better because Yomi has been involved. This has been another successful full arch surgery. The precision and ease comes from Yomi and is why customers have performed over 50,000 osteotomies robotically. Yomi on every level has been a game changer for us. From my perspective, after surgery with Yomi, the biggest benefit is to our interactions with our patients. They have a good experience. We have been more conservative and less invasive in the surgery itself. They heal better, they're happier, things have gone really well. Uh, for me, you know, addressing new cases after, after Yomi surgeries, then I gain confidence and I feel like I can help more people.